so hey guys welcome back so in this lecture i am going to show how we can do the integration between azure devops and the sonar cube server this is my azure devops dev.azure.com and here i have the one project under this project i am on the pipeline section is this and here i have the sonar cube which is up and running so if i go to the local host 9000 i can access the sonar cube is this so let me log into the sonar cube so i'll log in with my credential now uh here i have some project which i have automated earlier now we need to scan a new project which uh, through the azure devops ci cd pipeline so here i'll come to the dev.azure.com now here i'll go to the pipeline sections and i'm going to create a new pipeline so uh, let me click on the new pipeline now here i'll create a pipeline with the classic editor design method and this is through the yaml scripting so that we will see in the next video so now i'm going to use the classic editor pipeline now here i need to select the github so i'll click on the github and for that i am going to select the repository so this how you can do you can watch my previous video how to create the github connection and the default branch is the master now click on continue now click on the empty job now this is the pipeline so here we will select the local agent because our local agent is up and running which we have set up early in the previous videos now this is the resources which we are going to check out and this is the agent job which we are going to trigger okay now under the agent job now the agent job so we will provide this job for sonar cube so this is the job name we have provided job for the sonar cube now we need to add some job here so what i will do i'll click on this plus sign and here i will search a task the task will be you can search by sonar and you will see the sonar queue for ms build and there are the sonar queue for this one and so here we are going to add a task the task name is prepare analysis configuration for the sonar queue so this is not showing here so what we can do we will go to the uh, marketplace so for that i'll go to this azure devops project and i'll go to this organization under the organizations we'll go to the extensions and under the extensions we don't have any extension is installed so i'll click on the browse marketplace so here i uh, search the extension name is the sonar so i'm going to search this one now i can see the sonar queue from the sonar source is there so i'm going to click on this to add this plugin now get it free now here you need to uh, provide the organization details select an azure devops organization so i'm going to use this organization now install under this organization so it will processing and it will install under this organizations because our pipeline is under the organization so let me proceed to this uh, organization all right so i'll click on this project again and now go to the pipeline again and i'll click on the new pipeline again then come here and you can um, again search the task now this time i should get the analysis configuration is there so this is the task we got after adding the sonar cube plugin so if you are not adding the sonar cube plugin you won't get this task i'm going to add this task here now click on this task and the task version is the 7 point star and this is the display name now here it is asking the sonar cube server endpoint okay now we, we don't have any sonar cube server endpoint means the sonar cube service connection is not there how can we create a new service connection so on that side you can see the new so click on the new and then it is it is asking the server url so i'll go to the sonar cube and this is the server you are a local host 9000 in your case it will be the different if you are running your sonar cube on the server on the other servers aws linux or unix machine so you can provide that url now you need to provide the token so the token is the personal access token so i'll go to the sonar cube and go to my account under the my account go to security and here the generate a token so token for sonar this is the token this is a token for the sonar now type is the user token and one year and i'm going to generate this one now let's copy this token and paste it here right and you can save this token for the future use i'm going to save this token now the service connection name is the sonar queue with azure sc this is the 
सोनार क्यू विद अजोर सर्विस कनेक्शन ग्रैंड एक्सेस टू परमिशन टू द ऑल पाइपलाइन सो वॉट एवर पाइपलाइन यू विल क्रिएट वी कैन यूज द सेम सर्विस कनेक्शन सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेव दिस वन नाउ यू कैन सी इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली डिटेक्ट दिस सर्विस कनेक्शन हियर और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो हियर दिस साइड सो आई एल गो टू दिस अजोर एंड आई एल गो टू द प्रोजेक्ट एंड अंडर इफ यू गो टू द प्रोजेक्ट सेटिंग अंडर देयर यू विल सी द सर्विस कनेक्शन आर देयर आई एल क्लिक ऑन द सर्विस कनेक्शन now you can see uh, this github connection sonar and this is the uh, sonar queue with the azure connections and if you want to create you can create a new connections by selecting the sonar queue github jenkins all the service connections you can create here so we already created the service connection for the sonar queue same thing you need to provide here so this is the other way by which you can create a service connections then you can provide the service connection here now uh, choose the way to run the analysis so we want to integrate with the maven because we are using the maven gradle and in the advanced sections you need to provide the one setting so the setting is the sonar dot project key this is the sonar dot project key the name is the test sonar demo so the project name is the test sonar demo so this okay so all right we no need to select under the control options and the output variables now uh, let's save uh, this setting so i'm going to save this one and now uh, we need to add the form so that we can trigger the form.xml file so i'm going to add the one more task okay so now let me run this job and we will see this is executing or not so i'm going to click on the queue and when you click on the queue you need to select the agent pool branch name and run so now you can see the job is running you can see the agent job one is running on the local host and now you can see this is the agent pool is the local now the job is running here you can see it is uh, downloading and it's preparing the sonar cube so first it will check out the code and after that it will prepare the sonar cube analysis okay this will prepare the sonar cube analysis and the task it getting executed here now the post job is completed okay so the job is executed successfully that means the pipeline which we have created was good right and this job is executed successfully and if i go back to the pipeline so this is my pipeline name this is the pipeline name and if i edit this pipeline you can see the stages is running again you can add a new task and here we will add the maven so let's add the maven and click on the maven this is the maven task and here we don't need any subscriptions for that as of now and the pom.xml file the package this is the pom.xml file path you can see and if you want to provide you double click on this one and you can select the pom.xml path and this is the pom.xml path you can provide here by default it will take because this is in the project folder now here we need to provide the goal so the goal is clean install then to run the sonar queue we have the sonar colon sonar and here we need to publish the azure pipeline the j unit test and code coverage so here uh, if i select the code coverage option the jcoco is there because we have the jcoco in our project pom.xml file so if i go to the pom.xml file so if you want to know how i prepare this pom.xml file in project you can watch my previous videos you will come to know everything now here if you see the jcoco plugin is added there so you can see this is the jcoco plugin is there so we will get the code coverage plus the code quality report now i select the jcoco and then you can leave it as a blank you don't need to provide anything and now this code analysis if you go to the advanced this is the jdk version so here the by default it will take the jdk version so default version it will take but you need to provide the path for the jdk so the jdk set the java home to given path so i'm going to link this one jdk path and the value here so where is your jdk 70s is running provide the value and i'm going to link it so this will run on the java 17 and you can see the maven opts to this location so by default it will take this one now you need to select this one run sonar cube and sonar cloud analysis click on this one and now here use the latest release use the uh, version declare in in your pom.xml file so sonar cube scanner for the maven version so i'm going to use the version which i have declared in the pom.xml file and then run the check style pmd find bug everything if you want so you can select all by default it will give you the report and the control you no need to select anything so just save and 
run so we are going to execute this one so this time let's see if we got any analysis report here or not the job is running so this is in the queue and it will start okay so the job is getting started first it is downloading all the tasks like maven tasks prepare sonar cube analysis all the required tasks it will download first then it will start executing the job now here you can see the job is started agent job one is again all right so the job is getting start here so first it will check out the code then it will prepare for the analysis and then it will go to the maven pom.xml and then it will trigger the maven job okay so here we have the maven opts okay and then it is started the sonar colon sonar command on the test sonar demo this is the project key so it will create a project here with the name the test sonar demo till now we don't have any project so let's go back to the job it's completed or not so the java 17 is injected here all right so the analysis is completed you can see the message is there and if you want to access this analysis directly you can click on this link so when you click on this link i should see the project is published here so let me refresh and wait for 10 seconds the job is executed successfully we have the one artifact so if i go back to the job i can see the job is executed successfully the status is successful and this is the one artifact i got here and this is the 100 percent pass so if i go i can see the report is there this you can see the test sonar cube repo code so if i go back to my repository i can see this is the repository and in the pom.xml file i can see this is the artifact id by default and if you scroll down you can see this is the project name so it will trigger the project name here it will take the project name from this pom.xml file so this is the project name it is getting here three minutes ago the analysis was done and we got the hundred percent coverage report so if i click on this link i can see the quality gate pass because we haven't set up any quality gate and now the nine lines of the code so i can see all the code is there and if i go to the issues i can see the issues are also captured here so you can go to the issues and you can fix accordingly security hotspot is not there and if i go to the majors i can see the risk analysis report and everything is there now the code so i can see the whole project is there so line of the code is 9 coverage is 100% I can see here and this is the code coverage report you can see here and now I can see this is the code coverage report so if I go back to the pipeline and under the pipeline sections now under the pipelines I can see test and code coverage is generated so if I click on the test I can see the report over here so you can see this is the report there are no test failure so this is the test run and here i can see this is the pass two test cases got pass and the pass percentage is 100 percent okay so in my project i was having some test cases these are the j unit test cases okay if i go to the src folder and in the src i can see the test java test code package is there so under i have the test code java and there are the two tests are there so these are the two test code and these are the j unit test so i got the j unit test report here so this is the run completed and if i click on the code coverage i should see the code coverage report also there so yes we got the code coverage report also this is the session and test sonar cube by default and this is the java code the coverage is 100 percent 
and if i click on this java code this is the java code 100% and java code class okay under this add multiply and java code class so whatever code is there we code the 100% coverage for this one so if i go to this java code package is there okay this is the one package which we have here and under this we have this is the code which we have tested and through the JUnit test cases and this code we have covered 100% by the JUnit test cases and that's why it is showing only the Java code coverage for the Java code class only. There is no report for the test because we have the test report under the test. So these are the filters so you can see these are the report. Alright so this is the uh, things we have done here okay so we so what we have done so first we have done the integration for the Azure DevOps in the Sonar Cube. First, we have created the one service connections between the Sonar Cube and the Azure DevOps. So for that, we have set up the Sonar Cube localhost server and we have the Azure DevOps pipeline over there. We created the one pipeline and we provided all the details, including the Sonar Cube. And then we have executed the job by the Maven command and finally we published a report code coverage report plus test coverage code quality report so both the reports we got here and in the azure devops we got the test and the code coverage report 